The Hulk is a fictional superhero appearing in publications by the American publisher Marvel Comics. Created by writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby, the character first appeared in the debut issue of The Incredible Hulk, May 1962. In his comic book appearances, the character is both the Hulk, a green-skinned, hulking and muscular humanoid possessing a vast degree of physical strength, and his alter ego Dr. Robert Bruce Banner, a physically weak, socially withdrawn, and emotionally reserved physicist. The two exist as independent dissociative personalities, and resent each other. Following his accidental exposure to gamma rays saving the life of Rick Jones during the detonation of an experimental bomb, Banner is physically transformed into the Hulk when subjected to emotional stress, at or against his will, often leading to destructive rampages and conflicts that complicate Banner's civilian life. The Hulk's level of strength is normally conveyed as proportionate to his level of anger. Commonly portrayed as a raging savage, the Hulk has been represented with other personalities based on Banner's fractured psyche, from a mindless, destructive force, to a brilliant warrior, or genius scientist in his own right. Despite both Hulk and Banner's desire for solitude, the character has a large supporting cast. This includes Banner's lover Betty Ross, his best friend Rick Jones, his cousin She-Hulk, and therapist and ally Doc Sampson. In addition, the Hulk alter ego has many key supporting characters like his co-founders of the superhero team The Avengers, his queen Kaira, fellow warriors Korg and Meek, and son Scar and hero Kala. However, his uncontrollable power has brought him into conflict with his fellow heroes and others. Despite this he tries his best to do what's right while battling villains such as Leader, Abomination, Absorbing Man, and more. Lee stated that the Hulk's creation was inspired by a combination of Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Although the Hulk's coloration has varied throughout the character's publication history, the most usual color is green. One of the most iconic characters in popular culture, the character has appeared on a variety of merchandise, such as clothing and collectible items, inspired real-world structures, such as theme park attractions, and been referenced in a number of media. Banner and the Hulk have been adapted in live-action, animated, and video game incarnations. The character was first played in a live-action feature film by Eric Bana. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe not verified in body the character was portrayed by Edward Norton in the film The Incredible Hulk, 2008, and by Mark Ruffalo in the films The Avengers, 2012, Iron Man 3, 2013, in a cameo, Avengers, Age of Ultron. 2015, Thor, Ragnarok, 2017, Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, Captain Marvel, 2019, in a cameo, and Avengers, Endgame, 2019. Ruffalo will reprise the role in the upcoming Disney and series What If? 2021, and She-Hulk, 2022. During the experimental detonation of a gamma bomb, Scientist Robert Bruce Banner saves teenager Rick Jones who has driven onto the testing field. Banner pushes Jones into a trench to save him, but is hit with the blast, absorbing massive amounts of gamma radiation. He awakens later seemingly unscathed, but that night transforms into a lumbering gray form. A pursuing soldier dubs the creature a Hulk. Originally, it was believed that Banner's transformations into the Hulk were caused by sunset and undone at sunrise, but later, after Rick witnessed Banner turn into Hulk at daytime following a failed attempt by Ross Mann to shoot the Hulk into space, it was discovered to be caused by anger. Banner was cured in The Incredible Hulk No. 4, but chose to restore Hulk's powers with Banner's intelligence. The gamma ray machine needed to affect the transformation-induced side effects that made Banner temporarily sick and weak when returned to his normal state. In The Avengers No. 1, September 1963, the Hulk became a founding member of the title's eponymous superhero team. By The Avengers No. 3, overuse of the gamma ray machine rendered the Hulk as an uncontrollable, rampaging monster, subject to spontaneous changing. In Tales to Astonish No. 59, September 1964, the Hulk appeared as an antagonist for Giant Man. The series established stress as the trigger for Banner turning into the Hulk and vice versa. It was during this time that the Hulk developed a more savage and childlike personality, shifting away from his original portrayal as a brutish but not entirely unintelligent figure. Also, his memory, both long-term and short-term, 
would now become markedly impaired in his Hulk state. Tales to Astonish No. 64, February 1965, was the last Hulk story to feature him speaking in complete sentences. In Tales to Astonish No. 77, March 1966, Banners and the Hulk's dual identity became publicly known when Rick Jones, mistakenly convinced that Banner was dead, when he actually had been catapulted into the future, told Major Glenn Talbot, a rival to Banner for the affections of Betsy Ross, the truth. Consequently, Glenn informed his superiors and that turned Banner into a wanted fugitive upon returning to the present. The 1970s saw Banner and Betty nearly marry in The Incredible Hulk No. 124, February 1970. Betty ultimately married Talbot in issue No. 158, December 1972. The Hulk also traveled to other dimensions, one of which had him meet Empress Jarella, who used magic to bring Banner's intelligence to the Hulk, and came to love him. The Hulk helped to form the Defenders. In the 1980s, Banner once again gained control over the Hulk, and gained amnesty for his past rampages, however, due to the manipulations of supernatural character Nightmare, Banner eventually lost control over the Hulk. It was also established that Banner had serious mental problems even before he became the Hulk, having suffered childhood traumas that engendered Bruce's repressed rage. Banner comes to terms with his issues for a time, and the Hulk and Banner were physically separated by Doc Sampson 5253 Banner is recruited by the US government to create the Hulkbusters, a government team dedicated to catching the Hulk. Banner finally married Betty in The Incredible Hulk No. 319, May 1986, following Talbot's death in 1981. Banner and the Hulk were reunited in The Incredible Hulk No. 323, September 1986, and with issue number 324, returned the Hulk to his gray coloration, with his transformations once again occurring at night, regardless of Banner's emotional state. In issue number 347 the gray Hulk persona Joe Fixit was introduced, a morally ambiguous Las Vegas enforcer and tough guy. Banner remained repressed in the Hulk's mind for months, but slowly began to reappear. The 1990s saw the Green Hulk return. In issue number 377, January 1991, the Hulk was revamped in a storyline that saw the personalities of Banner, Grey Hulk, and Savage Hulk confront Banner's past abuse at the hands of his father Brian and a new guilt Hulk persona. Overcoming the trauma, the intelligent Banner, cunning Grey Hulk, and powerful Savage Hulk personalities merge into a new single entity possessing the traits of all three. The Hulk also joined the Pantheon, a secretive organization of superpowered individuals. His tenure with the organization brought the Hulk into conflict with a tyrannical alternate future version of himself called the Maestro in the 1993 Future Imperfect miniseries, who rules over a world where many heroes are dead. In 2000, Banner and the Three Hulks, Savage Hulk, Grey Hulk, and the Merged Hulk, now considered a separate personality and referred to as the Professor, become able to mentally interact with one another, each personality taking over the shared body as Banner began to weaken due to his suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. During this, the four personalities, including Banner, confronted yet another submerged personality, a sadistic devil intent on attacking the world and attempting to break out of Banner's fracturing psyche, but the devil was eventually locked away again when the leader was able to devise a cure for the disease using genes taken from the corpse of Brian Banner. In 2005, it is revealed that the Nightmare has manipulated the Hulk for years, and it is implied that some or all of the Hulk's adventures written by Bruce Jones may have been just an illusion. In 2006, the Illuminati decide the Hulk is too dangerous to remain on Earth and send him away by rocket ship which crashes on planet Sakaar ushering in the Planet Hulk storyline that saw the Hulk find allies in the Warbound, and marry alien Queen Kaira, a relationship that was later revealed to have borne him two sons. Scar and Hero Kala. After the Illuminati's ship explodes and kills Kaira, the Hulk returns to Earth with his superhero group Warbound and declares war on the planet in World War Hulk, 2007. However, after learning that Meek, one of the Warbound, had actually been responsible for the destruction, the Hulk allows himself to be defeated, with Banner subsequently redeeming himself as a hero as he works with and against the new Red Hulk to defeat the new supervillain team the Intelligentsia. Who is your favorite Marvel character? Tell us your thoughts in the comments.